Uh oh, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Dozies TV. I am your host of Dozies. You already see what the vibes are today, bro. Yo, I am hyped for these sneakers right here. The LeBron 8 South Beaches. Now, I did have to pay resale on these guys, but the price was actually pretty good. I got them off of StockX. My first time buying off of StockX, but I don't feel too bad paying resale on them because number one, like I said, the price was pretty good. But number two, I'm actually starting to downsize, believe it or not. I'm just getting rid of stuff that I don't need, that I'm not, I don't really wear or anything. Um, got rid of some clothes, got rid of some shoes. So with that money, honestly, I've been saving some, but also uh, spending it towards some stuff that I actually really want, such as the South Beaches. So it's my first time like really paying resale. I did pay resale on the Raging Bulls, but it wasn't that much over uh, retail price. So it's not, that wasn't too bad. These ones are first one where I was like, yeah, I actually spent a significant more amount than retail, but it's a shoe that I saw rumored to come out last year and I just been really wanting it. Dropped earlier, uh, early in the summer, I want to say. I don't remember exactly when they released, but bots ate them, resellers ate them, people went crazy over them. So it was impossible to cop on release day. So I just happened to be on StockX the other day, just like browsing the, I always browse on StockX to see some prices, see what uh, people are paying for some stuff here and there. And um, somebody was selling them for actually, a, like below what resale is going for these right now. So I was like, you know what? I looked at the final price because StockX does this thing now where the final price is the price that you pay, no duties at the door. So that's pretty blessed. Um, I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm ever going to get them for cheaper because the resale is just going up. And this is the first time they retroed in 10 years. So who knows the next time if they even retro again. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger. Again, I don't feel too bad because like I said, I've been downsizing. Got rid of Yeezys, some Jordans, just a bunch of stuff that I don't really need. And I'm starting to shift my focus towards kicks that I actually um, like really really want not just another shoot of the collection if that makes sense but anyways enough rambling for the boy uh, let me go ahead and open these up I am super excited for these boom boom big box too bro big box and honestly they came pretty quick I ordered them a few days ago I want to say but they just came today holy this wrapping's pretty immaculate I ain't gonna lie to you but Anyways, bubble wrap all around. Oh, wait. Y'all see that? Oh, Lord, the light. Uh, there we go. Lion! As DJ Khaled would say. Ah, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I haven't been this amped for a shoot in a long time. Um, honestly, this was one of my shoes, like sneakers of the year that I, I was waiting for so hard. And I'm just happy I was actually able, able to get them for like a good price. Oh, we, yo, I'm just aged. Okay, 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 okay. Nike LeBron 8, quick strike, quick strike is an understatement. Oh, what there's, oh, I already see them. Oh my God. Okay, yo, 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 yo. Here we go. Oh, the StockX receipt, so y'all know. It is legit. Oh, Lord, don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. <sighs> bro, 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 yo. Oh my, bro, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me, bro. Yo, I'm in. The one thing I love about these is the pink lace is already in. It does come with the extra uh, black or navy blue. I don't even know the color of them. Don't really care because I'm not lace swapping them. Get rid of that box. Don't need it. Oh, Lord. Yo. Yo. Bro, I'm actually, I'm actually speechless, bro. Like, genuinely, genuinely love this shoe. I remember 10 years ago. Okay, so. Let me give the quick backstory, but these are immaculate to look at right now. Let me give you the quick backstory. When LeBron went down to South Beach, aka Miami, back in 2010 or 2011, uh, what year is it? 2010, yeah, somewhere 2010, went down there. LeBron's eighth signature model of his sneaker was coming out, and this was one of the first colorways uh, released. Now, if I remember correctly, don't, don't hit me on the head with this, uh, there wasn't that much released to the public which is why the resale on those pairs skyrocketed to over a grand. And to be honest, nobody even knew if they would ever retro, but Nike blessed us with a retro this year. 
I'm assuming they were dumb limited because of how fast they they sold out and because resellers just freaking ate everything. But that's the backstory of them. Now the South Beach vibes. Oh my God, bro. Yo, like y'all think I'm trolling. I am not trolling. My favorite LeBron 8, hands down. Hands down, my favorite LeBron 8 with the StockX tag. So you know it is authentic. Um, whoever's selling fakes of these anyways, kill yourself. Yeah, I said it. Anyways, oh, bro, love this shoe. One of my top, I'm, I haven't really thought of a, a ranking, but definitely one of my top three LeBrons, like ever, ever. <laughs> Yo, uh, like I said, it does come with like black or navy blue laces. The original pair had these already in, and then, but this release, they Nike released it so that the pink lace is already in them because more, like I would say like 90% of the public who is wearing these are, puts the pink laces in them because of South Beach vibes. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This is actually, in comparison to my other LeBron needs, the, the toe box and here, the mid panel, whatever you call it, is uh, suede, but these are leather and the leather is nice and plush. Y'all see the vibes on that. Nice and plush. Got your standard fly wire all around. Now the swoosh. Look at that swoosh. Bro, get rid of these laces, bro, please. Yo, look at this swoosh on that bad boy. And then you got the pink and mint bottoms. I call them mint. I don't know how, whatever else people describe them. I call these mint bottoms. Um, anyways, on the back, you got LeBron signature. It's a standard, like, I've shown LeBron 8 in, like, earlier this year. It's the same silhouette, but just this is such an iconic colorway. Anyways, the medial side, you got, I love this, the, the, per, the, excuse me, the pink fly wire. And then you got the swoosh right there, faded in. Oh, disgusting. Filthy, bro. I'll put this one down because uh, you can see it better on this pair over here. The tongue, my favorite part, one of my favorite parts of the LeBron 8. The tongue, the lion, this is so disgusting. Look at the pink eyes on the lion. And then... Hang on, I gotta move the, the laces down a bit. You see the vibes, man. Oh, Lord have mercy. Bro, I know the year is not done, but yo, definitely, this is gonna be my top five. Easily, easily top five shoe of the year, bro. When I do that, probably at the end of December, like I always do. But, man, I'm actually, I'm actually speechless on this shoe, bro. So many reviews have been done, but I just wanted to bring you guys my reaction to this, because, oh, Lord, bro. Yo, 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 yo. Just admire it for a second. Look how beautiful this is. The craftsmanship, the pink. Oh my lord. Whew. All right, man. I think I'm gonna end the video off there. There's like, there's like so much going in my mind right now, bro. Like I'm just genuinely happy for these. I was able to get these. Excuse me. I don't even know when I'm gonna bust these out. But yo, when I do, just just be nervous, bro. That's all I gotta say. No I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's a, I heard that from DJ Khaled back in the day. Anyways, bro, I'm gonna end it there for LeBron, for your boy Abdulaziz, for the LA Lakers. You already see what the vibes are. It's been your boy Abdulaziz, this is Abdulaziz TV, and we out. Peace!